drilling hardened steel with a hand drill. This video is the most requested video that I've had so far. I would have to guess that that is because in some cases you can't always bring the part to the machine. You have to drill the hole where the part is as it sits. If you're having a hard time sharpening your own bits, I got a surprise for you at the end of the video. I am not going to be using a solid carbide drill bit today because the hand drill or even a drill press is not rigid enough for a solid carbide drill. So I'm going to be using, in Canada we call them a concrete bit, I believe in the US they're called masonry bits, and in the UK and everywhere else in the world they're called hammer drill bits. The drill I'm going to be using is a DeWalt handheld drill. I also went through four concrete bits and one testing titanium nitrided uh, high speed steel bit. That just wore out to nothing. Okay, before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Time to test the hardness of the part before we drill it. Now I want to test my drill piece, piece I'm going to drill into. It's been heat treated, as you can tell by looking at it. Fifty nine Rockwell, so that should be nice and hard. Okay, this is actually the bit that I'm going to resharpen. If we take a look at it, the contours are difficult to see. So I made this piece of foam up to show you what the contours actually look like. It might be easier for us to see. If we see that it's rounded here, well, that is an awesome shape for when you have to hammer in to concrete to break up the loose debris. It's a negative rake, so it's very, very strong, but that will not work well for cutting steel because there's nothing for the, for the steel to go up on and it just won't cut very well. So my plan is to grind the tool bit to look like a spade bit. So what I wanna do is put a contoured shape here and a contoured shape here, just like you would on a regular drill bit, and then put a gouging point here and a gouging point here to make a chip relief. Now the problem with this is carbide is extremely fragile, okay? And when I'm drilling manually, I'll be twisting around a lot. Go this way, I'll be twisting around a lot because I'm not holding it in a drill press. So that might be a little bit of a trick. I might have to go back and resharpen this a couple times. Okay, so I want to sharpen these two bits here. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to use my diamond wheel, which if you look at some of my other videos, it shows how I picked it up for $5, which was awesome and I made an arbor to fit onto my grinder. But if you don't have that, you just have a table saw. This style of wheel works excellent as well. And then if you don't have a table saw and you only have a hand grinder, this guy will work well, will work awesome as well. Try to avoid serrated blades because they make an interrupted cut and it's just harder to hold, especially when the bits are small. Okay, I'm going to cheat a little bit because we're drilling by hand. Your drill generally goes like this or you're drilling in on an angle, etc. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to put one of these levels here and probably a white piece of paper under here so I can see this and then tape this onto the back of my drill. I'm lucky because the drill actually has a flat spot on the back here. So this is the drill I'm going to use to drill by hand. And I'm going to use this to help me guide to stay perpendicular to my hole. Okay, so it's not super pretty, but uh, the level should work, or at least give me a guideline.
Okay, they're not super pretty, but they will cut nicely. If you noticed, I also used two used drill bits, so saved a little bit of money that way. Okay, my camera's a small amount out of focus. Apologies all around. Okay, so I'm going to try with the uh, soft bit first, or the high-speed bit. Try the one in the center. Okay. It didn't do much for it, and it didn't touch the block at all. Basically, nothing the high speed or one of the carbide ones that I just sharpened this might take a couple tries so bear with me okay at this point in time I'm going to use a little bit of coolant I have two different other types of oils as well. Normally I wouldn't use coolant in a demo because it blocks the camera, but if I don't, this thing will just go to no good anymore. I think we got a broken bit. Incredibly hard. Took that bit right out. It's gone. To make the video a little bit more tolerable, I turned the sound down because the squealing of the bit was just getting a little too much during editing. I think the problem is my battery's dying. Hold on a second. A little bit more power here. Three quarters of the way, well, almost three quarters of the way. Okay, this guy's done. I'm going to sharpen another one up quickly. I don't want to stop the video, so then someone will say I switched something out. Gotta get a bit. All I'm doing is exposing the, uh, removing the silver solder to expose the carbide. This wheel won't cut carbide, so I'm not sharpening with this wheel. But it does get warm. Okay, now on to the carbide. see that or not. This is the picture that I took with the phone so you can get a better look at it. This is my newly minted carbide bit. 
Now, I probably shouldn't be drilling in the same hole because it probably got tapered, but I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see what happens. I'll try and go down slowly. And it's not very pretty at all. Could, I guess I could try giving it a resharp again. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> okay, so I was going through the restore the other day and I saw these Bosch turbo granite drills and I took a look at them and go wow that's almost the exact same as what I'm doing here except for you need to thin the web out a small amount to uh, be able to drill into to be able to drill into steel so these will work and they're off the shelf another option for you Hopefully you picked up a tidbit of knowledge from this. I apologize for the sun bleached video. I wanted to do it outside. I used three cameras and I only got one reasonably good shot out of it. Again, the best way to do this is in a milling machine. Then alternatively, if you have to do it in a drill press, and then you absolutely don't want to do it by hand because they're so easy to break off the carbide and they have to be sharp or they won't actually cut anything. If you want to see other great videos on machining, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. Also, if you have not already, please like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. Thank you for watching the video. Have a great night.